someone copies you but will never give you credit. So you're a true trendsetter chosen one. Everything you do, you do it to the T and you do it in a way that has your stamp on it. You do it in a way that people can't mimic, people can't imitate, people can't steal and get away with it, right? And because people know this and they know that it's so original and so captivating, it attracts so many people to you. Guess what they try to do? They try to do exactly what you know they can't do, which is mimic you, which is steal from you, which is try to be you, right? And here's the thing, you're humble. You understand everybody gets something from somewhere, right? Even the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. The key is to take all these different things that we have and make something original with it, right? And that's what these people struggle to do. See, if they took bits and pieces from what you had and made something original, or they just simply gave you credit, guess what? You wouldn't be tripping. And you're not tripping now. You're just really flattered by it. And now you know that you have some sons out there. You have some people that want to mimic you, right? And like I said, that's completely fine if they credit you because they don't call it plagiarism. If you take the information and you say, hey, shout out to such and such or put a little quote name under there. Or, you know what I'm saying? Hop in the comment section or do this or do that. At that point, it's not plagiarism. It's using information, growing from it and giving a shout out, giving a, a activation, right? And letting people know where it came from, right? At least in a way that allows you to be honest to yourself and honest to others because they don't understand on their way to trying to grow, which is why they're trying to steal from you and mimic you, people respect the real, which is why people respect you. So people will never respect them trying to be something that they're not, especially when they know that they get all the information and all the things that are coming out of their mouth from you. See, the people that are trying to be like you and discredit you, right? Not follow the movement, not pour into the movement, not give you a shout out and let you know that you're helping their lives like so many others have done, right? But they're trying to mimic it, discredit it, and act like it's them. See, these people will always lose because as much as they feel like people aren't paying attention to you, as much as they feel like people aren't watching you, people are watching you to the T and people are already seeing what they're doing. They're just not letting them know. They're letting them make a fool of themselves, and so are you, right? When people try to do things that don't even have their personality written all over them, and the only person that's doing them is you, guess what people can see? They can see who is the originator. They can see who is the truth. They can see who's doing what, who's who. Because they can see this, they're always going to gravitate towards the original. Nobody wants the knockoff. Everybody wants the official. Everybody wants the original. Everybody wants the tried and true, right? Nobody's looking for something that's already being copied. And this is where you come into the picture, chosen ones. You're a one of one, right? You're a one of none. There's nobody like you. And there'll never be anybody like you because you're true to yourself, right? You don't fake it to make it like so many other people do because they see when they try to be themselves that there's simply some things that they need to work on. And you have been there. See, when you were completely moving forward and growing into that authentic version of yourself, you had to face the fact that there's things you have to work on, just like every great person does, just like every great team does, just like anybody who wants to learn and prosper does. They're humble enough to understand, hey, I gotta work on this, I gotta work on that. I gotta humble myself and do this. And this is how you were talking to God. And this is why he's blessing you. See, these people didn't want to look deep and see their flaws. They didn't want to look deep and see the things that they had to work on. They were satisfied with being satisfied, right? They didn't want to move forward in a way that was going to push them to the next level as far as being themselves, which is what's going to get them to the next level. 
Because whenever you're trying to get somewhere, which is where these people are trying to get, people aren't going to allow you to take that next step and support you if they smell fakeness. They're not going to allow you to take that next step and support you if they see you're trying to be like what you call it or like such and such, or like bro or like sis, right? They want the real, like I was saying a couple episodes ago, we've been seeing the same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. People want something that's original, something that's refreshing. And when they finally get that and people try to mimic that and discredit that, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb because there's not many of those around here. What you do, there's nobody doing that where you're from, right? How you move, there's nobody moving like that where you're from, right? Your personality, how you look, how you dress, there's not nobody really dressing like that where you're from, right? The way that you carry yourself, right? All these different attributes, it stands out and it sticks out. And instead of people giving you credit for these things, instead of people just taking heed and saying, hey, I like the way you're moving. It stands out. You know what I'm saying? Salute. You know what I'm saying? I like to support it and be a part of it, bro, because I see we're going in the right direction. Or the same thing, vice versa, if it's coming from a sister. You feel me? It's like those are the things that gets people to the next level. Those are the things that allows God to bless people in ways that are going to move their life in an unimaginable way. Right. And that's another thing about these people. I only said unimaginable because with you, you can imagine everything. That's the whole key to faith. But they copy people because they truly can't imagine themselves making it as themselves. And they need to pray for faith, pray for hope, pray for authenticity. And that way, they can have that faith and that imagination to see themselves doing it as them, not see themselves doing it as you. Because you do what you do because you're you. You take motivation from people. You learn from people because you're not a know-it-all. You grow in ways that are uh, influenced by different people, whether you're reading, whether you're watching documentaries, whether you're reading the Bible, talking to God, right? Each one teach one, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. But when you move in a certain way and you get something from somebody, you don't mind hopping in the comment section and saying, hey, I appreciate this. You don't mind calling up and being like, hey, bro, that information really helped me, bro. I appreciate that. I support what you got going on or whatever. And this is why God blesses you. See, everybody wants to get blessed, but they really want to support and give credit to the blessed. And this is why God blesses everybody in the comment section, because you don't just say you support, but you show your support. This is why God blesses everybody in the like session, because you guys don't just say you support, but you show your support. Because you guys know what it feels like to be overlooked. You know what it feels like to not receive support from family members, friends, and the community. But this is our way of showing people that it's a big world. And just because this small group of people wants to hate and mimic and dislike doesn't mean that we're not international with this. See, they hate you and they mimic you because whatever you do, you're global with it. <laughs> right? I don't care if you only get 100 views, 200 views on the tube or on TikTok. Bro, if you go through the analytics, I'm pretty sure there's some viewers in Singapore, Indonesia, and Germany, bro. Promise you, bro. <laughs> I promise you. We're global. We're global. <laughs> you feel know I me? Mean? And I remember getting 100 views, 200 views like it was yesterday. But guess what? You stay down for the crown, right? So we're going to keep being global and keep doing what we do, all right? And they're going to be hating on us. They're going to. You know, try to mimic us. They're going to try to do all these things to no avail because God's not going to allow it to happen. See, this ain't the season where you're going to be discredited. This ain't the season where you're going to, you know, have people stepping all on you on their way to success without, you know, giving you your due respect, without giving you your due, you know, honor, right? Without allowing you to be who you truly are and play that leadership role. Not like you're looking for it, like, oh, look, I'm the leader, da, 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 da. But why would people not respect them to, uh, respect themselves enough to just admit it, right? If you get something from somebody, you're growing from something and you acknowledge somebody as the leader behind the scenes, you acknowledge them as a mentor behind the scenes, but in the daylight, you don't want to admit that. Right. When it comes down to showing that, you don't want to admit that. But, hey, a lot of people are introverts. That's what happens. But here's the cherry on top. 
on top of not wanting to admit that, they want to use the information and act like it's theirs. They want to use the information and act like they originated the information. They might get something from your TikTok or from your Instagram or whatever. Tell somebody else like it's theirs and give them a whole hour long rant like they created that. And they'll never point them to the source and say, look at bro's TikTok or look at bro's Instagram or look at bro's YouTube, right? Or go to bro's basketball game. I got this type of uh, footwork from him or if you box or whatever you do, you're a ballerina, right? They're taking your moves and using them. They're taking your dance moves and using them, right? And have no respect for you. And this is why God has no respect for them. This is why they're going to continue to lose because they're not being themselves. This is why you're going to continue to win because you're being your true authentic self, right? And this is why you are who you are. See, God put you here to make a mark. He put you here to where people could want to follow you, but follow you closer to him. But how can people follow you closer to him if they don't even want to acknowledge that you're leading them in the right direction, right? How can you acknowledge that, hey, you're going closer to God if you don't even want to acknowledge, hey, bro is helping me, like bro is moving me closer and helping me see things in ways I may not have seen before in a way that doesn't make me feel judged, in a way that doesn't make me feel like he's trying to play politics or he wants something from me or like he's trying to, you know what I'm saying, get over or something. Like all these things scare people when it comes to spirituality because it's dealing with their soul and it's dealing with eternity, right? So if it's dealing with eternity, people are going to want to be around the real. If it's dealing with anything in life, because all of our decisions add up to eternity, they're going to want to deal with the real. Because these people see you're so real, they want to be you. And they could easily grow into their best versions of themselves, dealing with you and just being true to themselves and admitting, you know, how much influence you have and admitting how much they can grow from just asking you a couple questions because they know you have the knowledge, but they'll never do that, right? And you will continue to win because if you ever have a question, as much information as you know, if you ever have a question, you will humble yourself and ask. As much information as I know, if I ever have a question, I will humble myself and ask. I'll be asking people to ask, hey, how do I spell this word? Is this the right word now? And you guys are topping that comment section for me. I'm not a know-it-all, but the information I know I give it to where we can all learn and grow from it. And this is what people have to learn. So if you know these people's copying ways, mimicking ways, is never going to prosper and discredit who you are. Don't you be afraid to hop down there in that comment section and say, you can never steal from, mimic, and discredit a true chosen one of God. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Make sure you guys have done there. Join the membership program. Make sure you guys have done there. Like this thing up. Share this thing up. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button to keep in the loop every time we drop. I'll catch you guys in the next one.